Lundy, welcome to my office. Good. Thanks, thanks for taking the time out. Um, so just a few questions, you know, the drill at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, first, it's your first year with Rochdale. How are you finding that? No, I'm enjoying it. It's um, it's been a good year for us so far, and obviously uh, on Saturday we could have done a bit more, maybe uh, gone on and gone to the next round and whatever. But I think now we're just going to concentrate on the league and that. But person on a personal level, it's been good for me. Uh, played a lot of games and um, I've been happy. Yes, looking back on Saturday, you've certainly shown against two championship clubs. Is it maybe a level you think you want to play for in your career? Yeah, definitely. I think everyone wants to play as high as possible, but um, I think the aim this year is to get to get promoted. And um, obviously, everyone aspires to play in the Premier League, and I think that's everybody's goal. And um, I'm the same. You've played on loan at Southend and Bristol Rovers last year. What made you decide to join Rochdale? Um, I think it was more being local and um, obviously Bristol and Southend was a long, long way away. And when I came and met the manager, he was um, he described it to me and he, he, he basically told me he wanted me to play and that's all I wanted to know. I needed to be playing this year and it was a big year for me. So um, and I've been happy with with some of my performances this year as well. What would you say so far has been your standout moment in your career for Rochdale? Um, I'd probably say beating Leeds. Obviously, that that was a big moment for the club and for us. And um, on a personal level, it was good. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say the Leeds game. Um, you scored a number of goals already. Have you set yourself a target in mind? Anything like that? I wanted to get to ten. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think I should have scored a few more by now, um, which I'm a bit disappointed about. But yeah, I think ten ten's my aim this year. Yeah. And training wise, I get to see you day in day out, Matthew. Well, how do you think you fare? <laughs> well, I don't know. You, you want to tell me? <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an all right train. <laughs> um, we've we've had we've been fair matches, don't we? We had a discussion last week regarding pace, and mm -hmm. I would be considered. <laughs> Not one of the quickest, but I think I could take you. The you race. Take, oh, okay. Would you go on camera right now and say you'd I'm like to get that on camera now? We would be, I'd beat you in a race, yeah. Do you want to get this done? I think because we, we can get, this get done in a race. Or something, definitely, yeah. I definitely think I can beat you in a race. What's your distance? Because you know me, I, like, 50, I start 50 slow. Years, I start 50 meters. 50 meters. So you're saying halfway line? 50 meters, so it's halfway line, yeah. I'd like to take you the full length of the pitch, I'd, I'd take you. Yeah, if you slow down. No, 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 I get into my street a bit more. <laughs> um, there's just a few questions. Some people have said to me, like, what team did you support when you were growing up? Uh, Manchester United, I supported as a, as a young lad, and I still watch out for their results and stuff. But, um, yeah, my, my dad and uh, brother and stuff, they, they're big Manchester United supporters, so um, I do do watch out for them. Are you enjoying their season so far, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Not too great, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a couple of people, Just it's a bit weird, no, I've, I said to you this in the dressing room, you can get yourself advertised, you, you dye your hair a lot, what <laughs> product do you use? You know what people will notice is. there's a lot of grey on this side. There's a lot of grey. But I yeah. don't know, you could get your name out there. No, nah, I everyone knows, I think I've told everyone by now. Oh, no, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. Brand it there. Okay, well, I had you said that, yeah. That's yeah, but which kind is I'm saying, you could get a deal maybe on it. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for it, just get for many <laughs> Get it delivered to the top. One thing I've noticed when you get your hair dyed, you always seem to have bushy or, <laughs> or eyebrows seem to come up different. So, like, what's the story? Yeah, I get my eyebrows threaded. You I do? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you denied it a no, few weeks I, ago. No, 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 I never denied it. I never denied it. I get my eyebrows threaded, yeah, when I want to get my hair cut. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, what else are we going to say? <laughs> Back to the league. <laughs> football. No, well, I think it's important because obviously you yeah. like your appearance, and if you feel good in the pitch, yeah, it makes me good. makes me feel better. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I do it. I don't I agree do it. with you. What age are you? Twenty three. And you're going great. That's a good <laughs> sign. Anyway, <laughs> what would you think is the success um, to the home form this season compared to the away form? Obviously, we've picked up a few results lately, but what would you put it down for? I think a pitch has been a massive help for us because it's been a, it's a good surface for us, and we're good at uh, passing side when we get it down and. Um, obviously, few of the pitches in League Two are not not too great, um, but I think we've adjusted well in the recent weeks, and I think that's come down to the lads really showing like the grit and determination really over the Christmas period and stuff. So I think we've uh, reacted well to to some of the pitches that we've played on. You've uh, scored a lot of goals this year. Which one would you say is the one that sticks in your mind? Um, 
I'd pro I don't know, I, I haven't scored too many great goals this year. More, more, I'd probably say the Oxford, to, to get the equaliser against Oxford away from home, that was quite a good, an important goal for us. Um, and that was quite uh, an important goal for me as well. Um, I hadn't scored in a few weeks and uh, Beachy was on my, on my case, so <laughs> uh, it was good to get a goal. Getting to Beachy, you, you seem to always have a little thing going in a circle every week. What's that about? I he always seems to beat you as well. No, he doesn't. Really to doesn't. He likes to, I think he likes race, to test like my touch, but he knows my touch is, is good, so I think he, yeah, I think we're just testing each other, but uh, no, I don't know, just a bit of banner. I'd go as far as saying he's better than you. Yeah, uh, he's not better than me in the circle. Definitely. Who goes in more? Who's the worst of this? Who the goes circle? in more? I don't want to say he's worse in the circle. <laughs> Who goes what is the circle? The circle is Train, possession on a Friday, and there's always somebody who's worse. I'm not. He's sat in there now, but he's he's, he's the worst. Yet. He's yeah. the worst today. <laughs> he was all right today, to be fair. But normally, you're the worst in the circle, aren't you? No. I'm not having that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are. Uh, you should just admit. Graham. Everyone just seems admit. to think. You're the, the uh, worst trainer in this yeah. week. I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> He's a different player on the pitch, but the worst trainer, seriously. <laughs> never, I've never heard him say, he just moans. He's just the biggest moaner I've ever met. I thought I was bad until I met him. So, you think you're a moan? I'm, I'm a moaner, but you're all ten times worse, yeah. Uh, if you were in a pub quiz, who would you pick in the team and why? If you had to pick as an three. Are the lads? Yeah. Four and reasons why. Um, I'd pick Pete Vincente because he seems quite intelligent. Um, got a degree as well. Yeah, he? he's got a degree, so I'll have to pick him as one of the intelligent ones. Um, no, Graham, stop waving <laughs> at me. Um, <laughs> who else? I don't think he's quite intelligent. Jeez, uh, he doesn't know that he's intelligent, does he? He's quite intelligent. Maybe Peter Kavanagh, because he's very, uh, if a sport question come up, I think he'll get it straight away. How many people did you say? Four? Two more. Two more. You still can't believe you haven't picked me. It's unbelievable. Really. Um, who else would I, I don't pick? Don't knock it Would you actually pick yourself? Yeah, I'd pick myself. I'd back, back, for you, sir. I'd I'd back, I'd back myself, so I'll put <laughs> me in there because, I don't know, I'm quite intelligent. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't put you up there in the top ten, easily. <laughs> uh, and, I'll, and I'll probably pick... I'd go with Hendo because he's a businessman. Isn't yeah, he? He's, he seems to have a bit about him. Mm. On yeah. weekends, what would you tend to do to relax? After games, I'd probably yeah. go out for some food with my friends. Um, and then, depends if we if we have Sunday off. <laughs> if we don't have a midweek game, I'd probably go out with my friends as well. But um, yeah, I'd probably just spend a lot of time with the family on Sunday over the weekend and stuff. And then back but to training on the Monday. Have you any f kind of superstitions around football? No, not really. Um, not really. I like to. Me and Raph always have this thing where we, uh, when we're doing the warm up, I always like to go at the back because I don't like going at the. F I don't like going at the front. I don't know. I've always done it. I like going at the back of the warm. Not. I don't know if it's because I don't. I like to do. You never see yourself going as a, time. Few, a future captain. So if that's your attitude. No, it's not. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's just I always do it. It's just the way I've always done it. That's the only only thing. Um, you said to me a few days ago that. Some games you get nervous and some days you don't. What can you put that down to? Um, I think we were talking. I, I, we were talking about the Sheffield Wednesday game, really, weren't we? And I was yeah. saying that um, obviously it was a cup game. We had nothing to. There's no three points on it, but it's at the same time, I was like, you look forward to to the Sheffield Wednesday game. I think for the games like the league games, you you are nervous because there's a lot riding on it. There's this point promotion. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't enjoy it, I enjoy it, but it's just the fact that there's more riding on that's why I get a little bit more nervous, but nothing that would affect my, my performance, I don't think.